Hello, 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 hello. I think it back live. Keyword there is think. Um, yep, it looks like it. Certainly appears that way. Uh, where's my Twitch chat gone? Do, 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 do. There's my Twitch chat. That goes there. No, I've just got to reposition my windows so as I can see everything. I think I'm good now. Um, let me just refresh this page. You still got an ugly mug. Right, well, you become a member on the last stream, so now I can stick my finger up at you, all right? Because you become a, become a member on the last stream. Don't count. Sorry, you don't count. <laughs> right. I'm sorry about that, everyone. Fourteen minutes. Yeah, well, I had my Windows 10 installation USB in there and it decided to boot into it. That one. I put Windows 10 on here earlier and uh it decided to boot into it because I forgot to unplug it. So, yeah, there we go. I got the bird. <laughs> Are you too cheap for an Intel? Uh, no, I just wanted Ryzen. And plus, I'm not gaming. It's not for gaming. It's for editing and streaming. So... Ryzen's a better choice. Ryzen is the better choice. <coughs> yeah, so welcome everyone. Hope you're all good. Uh, back to 90 viewers, nice. My chair's wobbly, look at that. Don't know where that's happened. Uh, yeah, so... There's my GPU. Fanboys. I'm not a fanboy. I don't really care what it is that I use, but AMD was the best value for money. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, welcome everyone. John, I'm good, thank you, mate. How are you? But yeah, the Ryzen 5950X, <laughs> not a cheap CPU. Still going to get it 50% 50, 50 of its usage. It's a beast. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's It's a monster. It's a monster. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button again. Can we get could we get a video on streaming like a how to? Um I mean there's that many videos out there. Um I'm probably not the best person when it comes to streaming either, if I'm being honest. Um genuinely probably not the best person to get advice from. Hey, Ellis is here, welcome mate. Uh, right, so let's go over the parts list that I'm using. Boom, look at that, it just works. Oh yeah. So I have a stack of RAM. I'll get to that in a minute. I'll get to all of this in a minute. First and foremost, the case. This is going to be the case. Lots and lots of room. It is a be quiet something. Um, to be quiet something. So, yeah, not entirely sure, but that's it basically. Um, should we have a look what it is? Let me have a look on eBay. How's that sound? Um, I'll get my ugly mug out of the way and then I'll see exactly what case it is. Uh, why are you asking me to sign in again, eBay? What are you doing to me? I don't want it. No. 
no, I can't do that eBay because I haven't updated my phone number. Ugh, he wants me to verify that it's me. Uh, well, eBay. What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck is going on eBay? Oh, I thought my eBay had been hacked then. Never mind. Um, right. Let me find this eBay listing. It is a Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX. Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX. So that's the case. It's a nice case. Nice and big. Hey, thank you, mate. Aldemar 1977 cheered Dex 100. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the 100 bits. Uh, is it Voldemar or Waldemar? Thank you, anyway. Hey, Jim Hooks here. Welcome. Um, yeah, so that's the case. Motherboard. Is the X570 Plus. Uh, the reason I went for that specific board is because it's probably one of the cheapest in the line that supports PCI Express um, Gen 4 and M.2 Gen 4. Uh, or rather, well, it's PCI Express Gen 4, which is that. Uh, I'm crap at this. It's that way. Yeah. So it's a, I've got a 1 terabyte P5 Plus. It's a Gen 4 NVMe drive. Um... I am going to get a second one of them eventually and then I'll run it in RAID 0 um, for RAM and I know I know I know RAID 0 but I'm going to have backups don't worry for RAM I've got 32 gigabytes of um, Corsair Vengeance hey TJH 710 just gifted one subs thank you TJ I appreciate that buddy um, so for RAM I've gone with Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, 4 8 gig sticks, 3200, no, yeah, 3200 megahertz, DDR4. Um, don't know what the, uh, it's CL16, so nice and fast. Um, graphics card, I've gone for the RTX 3060 Ti, OC edition. Um, or Vision OC edition, 8 gig card, and power supply is down here. What was that? Ian Bates tipped two dollars. Hey. No Sony parts allowed. Lol. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. No Sony parts. No, we don't do Sony here. Um, power supply. I've gone for. That beast. The V1000 1000 watt fully modular power supply from Cooler Master. Yes, it's overkill, but not when you think about what I paid for it. Not when you think about what I paid for it. I paid £50 for that. £50 damn pound. Yeah, TJ, I'll try and make a video on it, mate. No worries, buddy. Thank you for the gifted sub as well. Yeah, fifty pound I pay for that brand spanking new, eighty plus gold. It is overkill, but yeah, for the price, there was no way I was turning that down. It's a beast, but uh, yeah. <coughs> hey, Chris, how's it going, mate? Impressive PSU. Yeah, definitely, mate, definitely. So yeah, let's get to building, shall we? Oh, and it's going to be AIO cooled as well with the, um, what is it, it's the NZXT, uh, let me find out what it is, the X63 280mm um, AIO cooler as well, which is still attached to the other board at the minute because I was trying to get the other board working, I'll be in and out, no worries buddy, thank you mate. So, so said, have you got fags? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't got any. 
You're excited. I am a bit. I am a bit, mate, yeah. Nah, you won't need more than a thousand watts. So, yeah, the plan is... I'm going to build it outside the case for now. And, um... Then once I've, uh, Once I've built it, and tested it, made sure it all works, then, yeah, I'll be good to go. I will build it into the case. Right, we don't need manuals. We've got that motherboard. It's fairly decent for £200. Fairly decent for £200. Um, yeah, so... All in, oh, I don't even know what this has cost me. It cost me... £95 for the power supply. Let's work this out. It cost me £400 for the graphics card. £200 for the board. That's six. Um, 420 for the CPU. That's 1,020. 50 quid for the power supply. That's 170. That's 1070. 140, so that's 1240. 1340. It cost £1,500, basically. Um... Yeah, uh, probably just over fifteen hundred pound in total for everything, um, which you know it it's not a bad price. Um, it's a lot of money, but it's not a bad price. Now bear in mind the CPU I only technically paid one hundred and seventy pound because I took a load of junk to CEX, um, but I have verified the CPU works, so we're all good. Windows eleven ready? Yep, that ain't happening. This is going on Windows ten. So I'm going to build this on the box for now. And then once I've built it on the box and made sure it all posts, then I'll um, I'll get to uh, building inside the case. So let's start with a RAM, shall we? Thirty K build in my country, damn. Worth the money though. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's low for a thirty ninety. No, I've got a thirty sixty Ti, mate. Thirty sixty Ti, not a thirty ninety. Yeah, so RAM, because I've gone for four slots, I don't need to worry about what order they're going. Windows eleven sucks big time, big time it does. Why not Linux? Because Linux sucks. I don't want Linux. I'm not not a fan of Linux at all. I cannot stand Linux. Windows 11 is fine. Yeah, so you want to drag and drop between Windows, mate. Which I do very, very often. Alright. Here the click. Very nice. Well, PC building is fairly straightforward, to be honest with you. Someone has a 3090 with an 850 PSU. Oh, right, I got you, mate. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so PC building is fairly straightforward, really. So, yeah, the plan is going to be to build it all outside the case, first of all. Never build it in the case until you know everything's working. So, I'm going to need two things from here I've got this board here which is playing up um, but I've got an AIO, AIO cooler the NZXT AIO cooler here and also the CPUs on this board as well so I'm going to need to get these off before I do anything else Is that 64 or 128? It's 32, mate. Uh, so it's four 8 gig sticks. Um, I don't need more than 32. I've got 64 in the rig though I'm in at the minute. And honestly, I never even get close to using 32. I use about 28. Don't forget to do your peel. Yeah, I know. Man, I screwed this tight. 
no privacy at all. Yeah, I well, know. But I also don't like Linux. I can never get used to it. Damn it. It's going to be IIO cooled, mate, not liquid cooled. IIO cooled. I could potentially put an IIO cooler on the, um, what do you call it, on the graphics card. I do have a 1080 Ti with an all-in-one cooler on it, which I should be able to get to fit, fit, but maybe that's for another day. Maybe that's for another day. So, we'll just get rid of this thermal paste off this CPU Right then. You think I'll be better prepared? Read anyone else everyone else's messages but ignores me. I didn't see it, knobhead. <laughs> System is Ryzen 5600 with 32 gigabytes of gaming RAM with a 2070 Super. Mine was like a dream. Nice. Yeah, to be fair, the 2070 is a good card. Right, there we go. There we go. Isn't she a beauty? Oi, focus, you prick. Hey. Said focus. There you go. Ain't she a beauty? 5950X. Right, that board can f flip off. That board can flip off. Right, just like a chip on there. Uh, mostly, obviously, most of you are going to be here for who are into soldering and stuff like that. But just like, um, just like a normal chip that you install on a board with soldering these also have a pin number one and there's also an indicator on the board so on this board the indicator is up in this top corner and that's going to line up with the indicator on the chip or at least I think it's oh no it's not that's not where the indicator is. Hmm. Okay, there's four, there's no indicator on this board. Oh well. It goes in that way anyway. Ha. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so it does it does sit in that way anyway. And she is a beauty. Can I help? No, you bloody can't. Last time, funny story. Last time Sarah, last time Sarah tried to build a PC, she plugged. What did she plug in? Um, she plugged the GPU. Like forced the GPU um, six pin into the CPU socket, and it went pop. It went pop. So no, Sarah cannot help. <laughs> Not a chance. Uh, right, do I have my own thermal paste up here? 
I do. So for thermal paste, I'm going to be using my own personal thermal paste, which is Cy Cy One Fifty Seven. Whoops! Focus you there. Cy One Fifty Seven. So that is basically. I think MX4 is something like 8.5 watts per meters Kelvin of cooling, whereas Psi-157 is 15.7, so it's double. So it's a lot better thermal paste, it's got a lot better cooling. And I'm going to go for the old X. There you go. Let's go for the old X style. I'll go for the X style. Why not? And then, oh, hang on. I think I might need my back plate. Ha! <laughs> uh, sorry, not my back plate. I need my posts. You son of a... Well, actually no, I do need the back plate as well. There we go. Right. I'm going to take off this. clamp there we go and actually this has already got a back plate pre-installed So the back plate goes on, on that side, and then I'm going to install these little standoffs for the cooler to go on to. See you on the next stream. No worries, Moonstone. Cheers for hanging out, mate. Where's well, Tronics fixed with a perfect amount of thermal paste? <laughs> yeah, I should have got Tronics fixed to give me a, a few lessons, shouldn't I? Tronics fix is going to be doing another live stream soon. Might be worth checking if the buyer would need updating for that CPU. It should have a, it should have an update thing, but it says it's Ryzen 5000 series ready, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, According to the board, it is 5000 series ready, so um, I'm assuming it's going to be absolutely fine, to be honest. Right. All in one cooler. Needs to go on. Just in terms of testing, make sure it's going to boot. So yeah, this, this first one is just going to be to make sure it all boots up, make sure it all works. So it doesn't really matter which orientation I put the um, cooler. Doesn't make a difference as long as it's on there. Then it's fine. It's just literally going to be a test run. There we go. Oh, 
So I can sort out the cooler afterwards and route everything properly. Just want to make sure it boots. And also make sure it recognises everything as well. There we go. Do 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 Right Where are my IRL fans? Right the pump needs to go into headed down by the side of the CPU. I'll pump, there we go. And then the fans, eh, they can go pretty much anywhere. Doesn't matter too much. Just as long as it's cooling it while I'm testing. There we go. It's better the X and the dot. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't think it matters as long as you put enough on. Never use an electric screwdriver on a CPU cooler. I've got Torx control on it, mate. It's fine. It's got Torx control on it. And they're on standoffs anyway. They're not on. They're not going through the board. They're on. They're on standoffs. It's fine. I promise it's fine. Right. Gen 4 SSD, this should be absolutely rapid. Keyword there is should. Should get about 6 gigabits per second, I think. Or 6 gigabytes per second, whatever it is. Um, on the... Uh, off. Ouch. Slipped a bit. And this is why I don't build PCs for people. What SSD band? It's uh, crucial, mate. Crucial P5. The way I put the thermal paste. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as there's enough on it, mate. To be honest. Do, 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 do. Right, where is my standoff going to go? There. Do, 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 do. It's P5 NVMe, yeah. Nah, it's all good, didn't scratch it. We would have had a repair stream on our hands. Ha! <laughs> I haven't even put the posting hang on I need a post for the M.2 
So this is a 2260M.2. There we go, that's better. But yeah, this is why I'd never be a professional PC builder because I'm too heavy handed. There we go. That's good enough. Right, so that SSD is going to be staying in there, so I can put the heatsink back on. Just as soon as I remove that, because that's not going to move as long as the board works. This one's sticky thermal pad. That's one very sticky thermal pad. Damn. So yeah, that can stay on there. Be gentle, it's its first time. <laughs> yeah, it's a 2260, yeah. <coughs> 2260. Right, we're ready for the power supply now. So yeah, like I said, this is just gonna be for testing for now. I don't actually know where that thing goes to be honest I don't have a clue where this goes um, let me see let me pop to the face cam so I can show you that there so if anyone's got any idea let me know directly in your brain probably Yeah, so don't know where that goes. Or whether it's just the um, same as the SATA. Should have built in the case. No, you don't build in the case first, mate. No. You build out the case, then you unbuild it, and then build it in the case once you know it works. That's what you do. <laughs> Genuinely, you don't build inside the case. Um, when I first started to use too big of a drive and tried to screw the board in and broke a standoff. <laughs> that for RGB? Um, I don't know, because... Um, cause it's, it's a male header, and the RGB is a male header. Um, and I'm not seeing any female headers on the board, so I don't actually know, genuinely. Um, display chain for the RGB is it hmm I don't know oh well I don't care I know the pump works without it so I just don't care <laughs> right hand side of the motherboard opposite IO um, no I'm genuinely not seeing it anywhere that's the thing Um. I'm looking for a female header and it's yeah I haven't got a female header so yeah I think it must be an attachment for an RGB thing it's got to be daisy chain yeah probably uh, no we're not ready for the power supply we're ready for the graphics card we are ready for the GPU so that's gonna have to be moved uh, ugh, that means I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to put these. Right, I'll plug them in in a minute. Actually, I can plug them in this side. So, because we need to put the GPU in. So GPU is gonna go.
like that. It's in there nice and secure. That's it, it's locked. And now I can put the power supply in. Or rather plug the power supply in. <coughs> We've got the 24 pin, which will be down there. We have CPU. I believe I'm gonna to have to get another four pin for the CPU. It's not twist wires. Coke or Pepsi. Neither. I think they're both disgusting. Uh, SATA, I'm going to connect up the pump to that for now. Do 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 do. GPU, one eight pin, if I can ever get it to, I hate these connectors, hate them. Hate them. Support the GPU. There's a big fly in there. There is indeed, yeah. It's all good. Right. We're ready to test. Well, just as soon as I plug these fans in. Just as soon as I plug the fans in. I'm gonna tilt people now and plug the left one into the right one and the right one into the left one. <laughs> no, it's only for testing, so it doesn't matter. Uh, right, there we go. Okay, let's see if it all posts, shall we? Let's see if it all posts. Uh, HDMI cable to the TV. There we go. I need an IEC cable. That'll do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moment of truth. I'm going to jump start the board. Power LED, power switch. Hey, there we go. Doors it post. Doors it post. First time. All right. Something bad. Okay, fine. 
I'll tilt the rad. That flies Phil's best mate. That flies my only mate. <laughs> Right, let me get uh, let me get this hooked up to a capture card, and I should be able to display it on the screen. I uh, don't know what capture card this is. No. Um. One moment. Bear with me. No, it's not displaying on the capture card for some reason. Unless that cable's not plugged in. I know this one goes to the microscope. Bear with me. Uh, right, for some reason... some reason it's not booting it's not showing um, the display on the capture card it should be but it's not no No. BIOS is never 4K. I've just tried it in 1080. Um, it's fine. Um, I wanted to get it onto the capture card, but no, it's fine. Unless it's just stopped displaying. Wait, what? Huh? Did I knock something? Right. No! Oh, you prick, it went off. Turn on, you bastard. When it's posting, right. I guess I need my mouse. I can use my wireless mouse. There we go. Right, so we've got 5950X. We have 32 gig RAM. It's registering all all four DIMMs. It's registering the NVMe. Uh, IIO pump, it's not registering for some reason. Um, hmm. I think the IIO pump's running. Uh, motherboard temperature 38, CPU temperature 51. Is the IO pump running?
No storage. It's got, it's got a one terabyte SSD. Hang on. I know it's awkward. It's picking up the M.2. For some reason, though, it's picking it up in. It's picking that up as uh, M.2 number two. So I guess I've got to plug it into the into the other one. Um. I don't know if the pump's running. It looks stable at 51. It looks solid at 51. To be honest, uh, but yeah, for, for some reason, mind you, the IIL pump it, it looks like it doesn't have a sense wire. All right, let me unplug that and I'll tell you in a minute. Let me see if it increases temperature. With the pump unplugged. Right, yeah. Yeah, that that was Oh yeah. Yeah, that pump's running for definite. It immediately went up to sixty something degrees Celsius. Yeah, that pump's definitely running. So you just it looks like it just can't read the pump. Um probably just doesn't have the wrong the right header. Fifty one is high for idle. No, it's not. It's fine. Yeah, so there was a little spike when I unplugged the pump. I think it's fine. It seems fine. Yeah, so I'll get everything configured in a minute. Once I've built it into the case. Not even in a case. No, it's not. Had to be plugged into USB header. Not sure if that's just for RGB. I think it is. Uh, well, it's got to be unplugged anyway. It's got to be taken off anyway. So... Um, because I've got to build it into the case, so have I missed much? No, I'm just testing. Load your OS. Um, not until it's built in the case. Then that thermal paste, the thermal paste is bad. It's not bad, honestly. This thermal paste is not bad. I've used this thermal paste for all of my consoles and things. Don't forget, it is a 5950X. And I haven't got the fans completely attached either. Like that's that's just hanging free. But it's not. Hey, Mr. Nick. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I know TPG. Don't worry. It's, um, it's got to be reseated anyway because I need to disassemble everything now. You set your pump to 100. I haven't set nothing yet. I haven't set anything yet, mate. I mean, bear in mind this is a Ryzen 9 5950X. It's a it's a power hungry CPU. It's a it's a very power hungry CPU.
somewhere between 40 and 50 so you're basically at the upper range of normal as long as load temps are fine yeah it should be all right it should be okay with it I mean, to be fair, the fan's not, like, nothing's, like, bear in mind, there's no, there's no case fans or anything attached to it either, so. You know, that heat has, to, that heat has to go somewhere. Personally, I would say it's probably reading it wrong because the, the rad's not, the rad's not hot. So it might be reading the CPU wrong. It wasn't the thermal paste wasn't quite spread out properly either so it was spread out more in the center uh, more on the edges so yeah I'll do better next time I promise when I when I actually get it inside the case I'll do better going to get everything out of the way but as long as I know as long as I know it's all booting I am going to just quickly change this um, I'm going to just quickly change this NVMe drive onto the other one because it's reading as m.2 not nvme and it's reading as m.2 number two so i'm going to move that over to that one yeah just post at the minute just post just making sure it actually post uh, posts uh, before I build it all in right is there any way that I can get this uh, what do you call it onto this one yeah I need to move the I need to move this over though. The, the post for the heat spreader. <coughs> so if I move the post for the heat spreader to the other one, then I can use it. Why it's on that one from from factory, I don't know. But apparently it is. Wait, can you really not move it? If you can't move it, why is there a screw for it? What? Why is there a screw for it if you can't move it? Well, that's rather stupid. How do you catch up with double chat? Um, I'll just read what I see. 
Do you ever have to service that cooler? Um, yeah, I would say so, yeah. Well, that's rather annoying. Post to soldered and screwed. <laughs> that's fucking annoying. <laughs> Come on, Zeus. Why would you do that? Just why? Right, well I'll get I'll get a heat sink for it then. I'll buy a heat sink. I'd rather have a heat sink on, but it'll be fine for now. Are we all PC experts for five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Right. Okay, okay. Let's move that out of the way then. For now. For now. Ah, let's bring in the case. Oh yeah. I like it. Right, I do need to get another what do you call it? Another cable. Where's my other cables gone? The cables after it. Ammunity cheered X200. Hey mate, do you know Toltec Merc YouTube channel? Maybe he can help you with your FC KPS5 that don't turn on. You're a great inspiration. Thanks. Cheers up, multimeter. <laughs> thanks for the uh, thanks for the bits, mate. Toltec Merc. Oh, I've never heard of it, mate. Unfortunately, um, I can have a look a little later. Uh, I don't know where the rest of my cables have gone to the power supply. So it's going to have to do for now. Fuck it. It's fine. Right, fan down. Fan B down. Because otherwise, it's not going to have anywhere for intake. Uh, Oh, I always hate these. How do they go in? <laughs> How do we get the fan in? Uh, the uh, power supply in, is it, does it go in from the front? Really? the side panel take the frame out what frame not that frame not that frame
Oh, come on. Don't be a dick. Is it sliding from there? Nope. So what frame do I take out? Oh, the back plate at the back. It's loading that way, doesn't it? I know that was the drive cage, but he's got it cut out there. I thought it slid in from there. First time building in this case, people. Remember that. Remember that. First time building in this case. So, anyone who wants to hate can swivel. And I am also not a professional PC builder. I know how to build a PC, but I'm not a case expert. And I haven't researched anything, by the way. I haven't researched any of these cases or anything like that to see the optimal ways of building it and shit. There you go. I've got it, Dream Spec. Don't worry. Relax. It will be fine. It will be fine. Okay. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. What we got in the accessory box? Screws. We have screws and cable ties. Screws and cable ties. Don't know what that screw is for. Do 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 do. motherboard screws you know what I can't remember which screws are which on these now <laughs> can't remember which ones are the board and which ones are the PSU screws Yoink, that will do, that will do, that will do. Well, 
I'm assuming that them ones are going to be for the power supply. So, they're the ones I'm going to use. No, they might not be the ones for the power supply. Neither of them ones. I think it was them ones. Sure it is. See, this is what annoys me about PCs. Just use the same fucking screws for everything. It's easier. It was them ones. It was them ones all along. Just use the same screws for everything. It's friggin' easier. Nope, that's going in cross threaded. Slightly out of line then. I don't know if that made a difference to the alignment of the screws. So why do them ones go in cross threaded then? The other two are going perfect.
I'll go for them ones. That's better. Is that one really going to go in cross threaded or is it that hole there? It's not that hole. That's what she said. It's really going to go in cross threaded. Wow. It's definitely the right screw hole. We're just going to go across threaded. It's not a grill hole. It's definitely not a grill hole. Get that screw out. Luke, it's the right fucking screw thing. It's the right screw hole. Trust me. I can see the honeycomb. And I can also see the thread on this screw hole. It's the right screw hole. I'm not even joking, I can physically see the fucking thread. Genuinely, I can physically see the thread. I can also see the honeycomb there. That that one there is a honeycomb. That is where the screw goes. I'm putting it in the right place. But it's cross-threaded. You wouldn't even fit these screws into the honeycomb. They're too thick. They're just too thick. I think he's gone in straight this time. Yeah, he's gone in straight that time. Bit of adjustment. But he's gone in now. It's gone in now. It's all good. It's all good. Just took them there for a minute. I've read your customer reviews. Heavy handed Phil. Phil's always heavy handed mate. Always have been, always will be. <laughs> always have been, always will be. Idiot manufacturer puts the fan fans in. JB, you was just resubscribed for six months. Thank you, dude. Now, if I could ever get this friggin' IO shield to. Sit down flat. 
and lock in. Come on, let me hear that click. There you go. Thank you. Mucho gracias, senor. I owe shielding. I should probably clean off the thermal paste first before I um mm. I didn't really want to waste this paste but oh well. Just gotta have some fresh paste on. It's not exactly cheap this paste. Never mind. Run the 8 pin power cable first. Um, let me just have a look and see. Yeah, you're probably right there. You're probably right there. I'm probably not going to. Probably not going to be able to get any clearance on that once it's screwed down. You are probably correct, sir. CPU, 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 CPU. I wonder how I should route this. Probably best on there, isn't it? Yeah, on the um Probably best to be with these cables. going to keep it there for now I'm not going to leave it there I'm just going to root it there for now just so I can keep it tidy well somewhat tidy just while I get the board in I know Chris I know where it goes mate don't do it. And motherboard is all the same. It's all the same. By the way, the standoffs are already installed on this case for a full size motherboard. So yes, I do have standoffs on here. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, this is what I don't build. This is what I don't build PCs. I didn't leave that in there, I promise. I didn't leave that wireless adapter in there, I promise. I promise I didn't leave that, that mouse USB in there. I swear it just didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't fit, okay. Wow, that's got no clearance with that fan there. That board's just got no clearance with that fan there. I can put the fan back afterwards, but I need to align the board first. What's stopping that? The hell is stopping that from going in? shield doesn't want it lock in but it's pushing itself out Not right. You had it right the first time. No, because it's pushing out. If I'm lining it up, it's pushing out. Like, that's the board aligned. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like how that pushes out of there. But that board is locked in. All of the standoffs are lined up fully. Like, 100% 100% lined up. And that. You see? There's no bent clips, I've just looked for them. No bent clips. Definitely not. I know it's not meant to completely line up, but that board is locked in. And it's not. It's not lining up fully. Like it's not it's pushing it's pushing the IO shield out. I don't like it. Uh 
that's fucking shockingly bad. I don't like that at all. Like the board's lined up, look. Like it's completely lined up. You can see it. that board's going nowhere, even without screws in. I mean, obviously I've got to put screws in, but I don't like how it pushes out on the IO shield. That's, that's not cool at all. It's not cool. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Sorry, but I don't. Right, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 